Hi, I'm Mandeep Singh. I've got three stores in Sheffield, all under the Premier banner. I've been in uh, retailing now, well I'd say since I was 11 year old, but officially since uh, I finished my BA Honours at 22 year old. Uh, we've got three fantastic stores and the family run them. Uh, there's my brothers, twins um, and my dad and my mum and it's all a family run store. Category management is really important to us as there's so many different categories in our business. Uh, we look at the categories separately so obviously we'll use Unilever Partners for Growth and we'll, we'll look at their planograms and from there we build our category around that as to what are the demands within the area. To have good category management you've got to make time even though we're all busy and we think that we haven't got time to uh, spend on um, relaying stock or re-merchandising, what a lot of retailers don't understand is that when a customer comes in, they, they're only in for so many, uh, well I'd say seconds, not even minutes, and we've got to sell them our, our products uh, as much as we can. So if the category is not laid out properly, half of the time the customer doesn't see what's on offer and if it's done in a way where we can really execute the sale that's 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 where we're going to get our sales from and that's where we win above other retailers most of my category uh, advice comes from my symbol group but at the same time I do look at other things like Unilever partners for growth or there's some other bulletins you get from companies that bird's eye for example or other big companies that'll send um, lay out saying that this is how it should be laid out but a lot of that's biased and so what we do is we we, we use Unilever partners for growth so it's, it's unbiased and it's simple and then we build around that as to what we need in our stores I'd say the main category that I used par partners for growth on was uh, the ice cream category and just relaying the ice cream category to their plan makes such a big difference in sales. I think last year it was nearly, I think it was about 150% up just because we had the right products in the right places at the right time as well. I want every retailer out there to know that it's not just about opening your store long hours and being there stood there all day working on a till there's, there's a lot more you can do and when I go to stores passing or if I'm going to football with my lads I'll pop into a store to get a drink for them and I look at stores and I think that you guys can be doing so much more by just doing simple things by merchandising getting your availability right it's not even pricing it's just just getting your store in order Community activities that we've done, a major one for us is the football, what we do every year. We get Sheffield United Football Club for a year. We have, we have our boards there every year, so in return they give us the pitch for the day. And we link our sponsored football teams, all age groups from eight year old to uh, senior football. And they get to play on that day where we organise a tournament called the Sings Charity Cup. Uh, it costs us roughly between a thousand and fifteen hundred pound every year but the amount of interest and local press it gets it's just phenomenal and uh, that's that's something that we put back into the community and the community really appreciate it the future of uh, convenience retailing is definitely um, it's getting harder You've got these supermarkets coming in on a local level, uh, your Tesco Express, your Sainsbury Local, your M Local, uh, and, and they're banging on our doorsteps now. And what, what we need to do is, is get our own stores in line where by getting the right merchandising, getting the availability, uh, getting your community support, uh, working with partners, 
in the community to make your business better. Uh, and if, 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 we, if we don't do any of these things and don't join symbol groups, uh, I think it's, it's, your days are numbered. Advice that I'd give to other retailers that are struggling at the moment is firstly get your house in order, secondly get uh, a symbol group, doesn't have to be, it can be Premier, Nisa, Costco, Spa, anyone that suits your business, get them behind you because these symbol groups have got the power of promotions, leaflets and pricing and and they are key factors that you need in your business and you can get them for free, there's no cost there. So if you get them back in you, and we need to fight these supermarkets, like I've always said, fight fire with fire. Don't just uh, crumble when you see a Tesco Express or a Morrison's Local coming near you. Get stronger, get involved with your community, get your house in order and maximise your strengths.